no way you can say this is going to help students. Senate Bill 17, which passed last year and went into effect this January, bans diversity, equity and inclusion initiatives at public Texas colleges and universities. It's heartbreaking to me that these people have lost their jobs. As a result, hundreds of higher education employees around the state have been laid off as DEI programs continue to shut down in compliance with the law. President of the American Association of University Professors, Irene Mulvey, says it's a bill that's unjust. It's really a tragedy for the entire campus because moving forward towards a multiracial democracy, Finding a way to, to, to implement social progress is an important part of our institutions of higher education. The new ban now being enforced has caused mixed reactions from students across the state. Ana Don Juan says DEI programs are what brought her to UT. I came to UT because of a program that aimed to support first generation and low income students. Why are they doing this to us? Can't they see how much this is hurting us? Meanwhile, University of Texas at San Antonio student Royce Colo says he's celebrating the enforcement of the new law because he found DEI to be discriminatory towards non minority minority students. I think it's a right move because I think it's important to be inclusive of all cultures and all ethnic groups and not just more focused on discussing one group. In a statement, Texas House Speaker Dade Phelan says in part, DEI has not eradicated discrimination as it promised. It has established an entirely new structure to perpetuate it. Chaz Moore with the Austin Justice Coalition disagrees, saying the law is inherently racist and is now calling on UT to stand against SB 17. It's beginning to look a lot like A&M around here. Put the statues back up, you know, put the Confederate flags back up. Like, let's do all the racist things that we used to do. Like, we keep going back in time and like, like we, we can't allow that to happen, you know, like UT should be better. Reporting in Austin, Abigail Velez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.